All right, so I will say this. Let me back this up. <clears throat> At first, I wasn't going to come on um, <clears throat> and do this video. One, because I felt like this would just be too real. But then I got to thinking, and I'm like, well, my channel is real. And I do come to you with the real, and I want you to know that it's real. But anyway, I turned 20 yesterday, and... Today I woke up, of course, you know, slithered, but I also woke up and I was kind of changed and I felt different and I felt different about a lot of people and I started to really realize that real people are not, a, are not around a lot of people. Fake people are around a lot of people. So... I used to have a lot of friends. I used to be around a lot of people and always had something to do and somewhere to go. And now that I feel like I'm alone, and I really come to you guys because we're family, and I feel like I can trust y'all, and I feel like y'all got me. Like I, I could kind of talk to y'all because a lot of y'all, y'all write me. You might post something on my wall or you might add me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. I, I really enjoy the love because I know it's a lot of girls out there that might be going through the same thing that I'm going through. So, why not come on and give y'all some of me? Is that okay? I'm sure it was. But, um, real people... They don't have a lot of friends. They don't have a lot of people. And I started to really reminisce and think back because, you know, 18 and 19 birthday, I had a whole bunch of people come out and show me love. And I felt real love. But, you know, I got a lot of overwhelming texts on Facebook. I got some comments off my birthday video. I got some text messages. I got a few phone calls, but it wasn't, it didn't feel the same. You know, I used to have everybody out come out, show me some love and everything. So I kind of was feeling like, did I fall off in my lane? But then I started to realize, Quintez, you cut out a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. And it started to make me think, did I cut them out? Should I not have cut them out? But then I thought about it as, Today's just a day, and you turn a little older. But tomorrow and the next days, you're not gonna be wanna. You're not gonna wanna be worried about those people, right? Cause you cut people out of your life for a reason, and people are here for reasons, seasons, and lifetime. Which one are you? I always say that. I always ask that. But I'm real, and I'm a real individual so I deserve real individuals around me so of course my circle of friendship became began to get smaller smaller and smaller long story short I feel like being down here from because I'm from New York I'm from the Bronx and now that I'm down south it's way different it's way it's different swag it's different people it's different <laughs> individuals here so I feel so out of place I feel lost a little bit and I'm being so real and I really don't know why I mean I just got out of practice and I just gotta come on here and let y'all know that your girl is feeling a little low not so much low but I'm feeling some type of way and I'm thinking that I know that I did the right decision by cutting a lot of people out of my life because when you don't have a lot of people you don't have a lot of drama and I don't have any drama but damn did I cut everybody out you know what I mean I'm ready to leave here I'm ready to graduate and leave because I feel like being here I'm suffocating. And thank God I'm going home to see my family. 
um, this Christmas. And I know that I'm going to cry all the way back. But I know there's some girls out here in college that might be going through what I'm going through. And then I think about my YouTube and it's like, I should be talking to, I should be having a lot more people on my channel. You know, I should have a lot more people subscribe to me. I should have a lot more people to listen to me because it's real. But not everybody is for you. It was for you and for you. And I wrote this on Twitter because it was on my heart. But I said, if you're not following me on Twitter, it's at Badass Quinn. Anyway, <laughs> I wrote this on Twitter and I said, those who are for you stand by you. And that's real. And I didn't get that from anybody. It was from the dome. But it was real. And when I come on here, I come on for the real. And I know it's a lot of girls out here, or guys or whatever, that go to my school that watch me. And they might tell people and they might, you know, feel like they know me but you don't know me. And they might feel like, oh, I got one up on her because she's going through this. I might be going through this. But what you really fail to realize is videos are videos. And even though I might be real, but I put this out here because it could be somebody that's going through the same thing. Because I look for stuff like that. I look for inspiration. And when you're an amazing person, you do amazing things. You do epic shit when you're epic. <laughs> I love y'all and I'm, I'll be alright but I wanted to come on here because this is like my diary and we all like a family and I got love for each and every person that watches me and likes my videos or comments or subscribes or tell a friends or enjoys my personality or thinks that I'm pretty or anything that you guys write because you don't know the impact that you may have on a person, on an individual. When I started my videos, I didn't think that I'd be doing them now. 